been modifying and lightening another set of uh, flywheels for a crankshaft for a 500 Indian Enfield bullet and this is the timing side flywheel that I've already lightened and rebalanced you see all the holes I've drilled in it there um, some of them were there already part way through I've enlarged them and added some more as required uh, to bring the balance factor back to how it was before or how it uh, works very well which I've got a little uh, dodge for that but basically over here we've got the drive side flywheel and as you can see I've also machined this one to lighten it and drilled it to rebalance it and a long time ago I worked out that this socket and extension bar here just the right weight when put through the crank pin boss of a 500 flywheel to balance it out as you can see without it it's swinging back and forth like that the heavy spot is down here and when we put this in pin boss. Now we give it a spin and it'll stop pretty much anywhere which is what you want and there's no sort of rolling back. It stops in pretty much any position and stays put so that's balanced to this which just happens to be the correct weight to get a nice smooth running 500 and by coincidence well, after a little bit of experimentation and again knowing the weight if I decide I want to do a 350 crank I just remove that socket there it's you can still make out just about it says 500 on it and I've got a smaller one here with 350 on it put that on there and balance out for a 350 and that's each individual flywheel balanced up and ready to press together. Um, it doesn't really matter um, whether you've got an aluminium conrod or a forged steel conrod with a roller big end. Lots of people uh, seem to stress about the uh, balance factor of cranks when they change a piston even from one type to another on the conrods. But uh, I find but this seems to work for all of them and certainly in all the engines I've built with these lightning cranks that I do with varying um, types of con rods and pistons they've all been pretty smooth running so I think as long as you're sort of in the zone with these things it sounds a little bit agricultural but you're actually good enough to go and certainly they seem to be good when balanced to the mass of that for a 500 and this one for a 350 it works for me anyway and I just thought I'd share that and uh, you can see that there's no rocket science to it and yet it works very well this one is going to be in the engine of Asbro number 21